right, y'all. All right, excuse the mess in the background. Just ignore it. Okay. Whoops. We are, um... What are we doing? Making dinner. We're making the, um... French onion beef casserole. This is a recipe Crystal talks about. I don't know if it's the exact recipe she uses. Because I don't think she has a video of it on her channel. So I just googled one. So we're going to see how it turns out. And I am deviating from the recipe a little bit. It doesn't say to put onion and garlic in your ground beef. But that's how I brown my ground beef. So that's what I'm doing. There's a bubble. Okay. Shut those cabinets. Okay. So what I need is some egg noodles. This is a 16 ounce. You only need about 10 ounces. You need a 15 ounce jar of what is this? French onion dip. This is 26 ounces. Just wait a minute, Dilson. This is a 26 ounce can of cream of mushroom, but you only need um, 20 and a half ounces. I think. No, 21 and a half ounces. I just have some garlic, some chopped onions, and some ground beef. So, that's all we need for that right now. I have my pot with some butter and salt for the noodles and my skillet for the ground beef, and that's what we're going to do first. Let me put y'all on the tripod and we'll get started. And I'm just going to turn the eye of my this skillet on for the ground beef. garlic in going to cook this up. Mm. And then we'll be back when this is all done. Okay. We got our cooked noodles. I need my can opener. I need to go have my husband open this, so pause. Okay, he opened it. What are you doing? I'm making dinner. No, I want that dinner. Yeah, it's a yummy pasta. No, I want that one. Oh, too bad. It's what's for dinner. I'm just going to put this whole jar in here. Pasta. No cheese. It's dip. Dip, not like for chips. And then we need all but like six ounces of this, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Mom, I break my car. Mom, break my car. That seems pretty well. Mom, I break my car. Okay, I need a bigger spatula. Ooh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna mix this together. Take our, don't touch. We're gonna take our beef, put it in here. Do you make something awesome? Yeah, it's awesome. Don't touch, please. 
Don't touch, please. I swam strong. Is this a good mix up? I forgot we need to preheat our oven to 350. <laughs> Delson, I said don't touch. I don't do nothing. Okay, now that that's all good and mixed. Mom, it's nothing yucky. I gotta try it. It's not yucky, it's good. It's not yucky. We're gonna get our baking dish. This is new. My adopted parents got it for me for my birthday. Okay. I'm just going to. Put this in here. Spread it around. Some of these, I forgot to tell you all this at the beginning, these crispy fried onions. going to put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll be back all right you guys here it is out of the oven i cooked it for 30 minutes i'm going to put you on the tripod we're going to serve it up and then i'll actually i'm not going to let you watch me serve it up because i don't want to put you on the tripod um i'll come back and tell you guys what i think of it all right so we just got done eating and i thought before i forget while i'm out on my walk i would tell you what me and hubby think about it hubby thinks it's great just the way it is and I'm not gonna lie it's good but in my opinion it would be better with peas in it hubby says no I say yes so maybe if you try it try peas also I think uh, maybe a different cut of beef instead of ground beef would be good or maybe even chicken there's a loud truck. Um, would be good. Uh, what else was it? it? To me, it resembles if you... Like, it reminds me of if you were to mix a beef stroganoff with, a ch like, an Alfredo sauce. That's kind of the vibes I got from it. It was good. 10 out of 10 will most likely make again. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this video was so short, but it's a quick, easy meal. It literally took 10 minutes to cook the noodles and ground the beef, 2 minutes to mix everything together, if that, then throw it in the pan, put it in the oven for 30 minutes. That's literally as simple as it was. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.